WTAE Channel 4 Action News. It's a ski getaway for wounded warriors and their families. It's nice to realize that I'm still physically able to do it even though I've been injured. Happening here on the slopes at Seven Springs. Big change. New at six, they were wounded in Iraq and Afghanistan, and now they're turning to one another. For the past several days, they've been hitting the slopes at Seven Springs, and as Bob Mayo shows us, it's a way to bring these soldiers and their families together for encouragement and support. The group called Wounded Warrior Patrol arranged for eight wounded veterans and soldiers to be special guests of the Seven Springs Mountain Resort. This is amazing, uh, this is definitely a new, new hobby I'm gonna have for a while. For some, their injuries aren't immediately visible on the slopes. Others who cannot stand use sitting skis, special gear that opens up the slopes to vets like Buddy Mays, who is in a wheelchair because of a roadside bomb that killed two buddies in Iraq. This is what you do not do on a mono ski. <laughs> and this sort of brings the camaraderie back because you're around other military, especially wounded military, and then you throw your family in on top of it. That just completes the package. We had Buddy out in a uh, mono ski. Uh, we had someone else in a bi ski. So we put them in different skis, whether they're a wheelchair or if they have amputees. We work with adaptive um, equipment to get them out and be able to ski. Helps in bonding with my children. Um, my last nine years in the military, I was deployed seven. Leslie and Troy Vanderau are both veterans with disabilities connecting with fellow wounded warriors on the slopes. It's really exciting, I think, and really appreciated by other veterans to receive um, support. We're now part of the family. We're going to pay it forward to, you know, other veterans. The Wounded Warrior Patrol and Seven Springs are talking about hosting the event here again next year. Wounded Warrior Patrol, they've done an awesome job. Bob Mayo, Channel for Action News. So beautiful to see that. Well, next, she is battling a dangerous...